Hello friends, welcome to another video. At today's video, we are going to look into uh, matrix visual uh, and calculation groups. Um, actually, in this video, I'm going to show how you can group dimensions by Myers. Um, let's look at Power BI for me to explain what we're trying to achieve in this video. I have seen this question many, many times and hope this video will help to answer um, some of those questions. So let's get to Power BI, take a look, and then look at the what out of the box functionality available to us and how calcula calculation groups help us to improve our visualization in the matrix visual. Let's get to Power BI. So here in Power BI, what I have is a, a simple matrix visual. I have a product category on x-axis and on rows and on columns I have a year and then I have used two measure sales and quantity just a simple sum sales and sum quantity but if you look at these uh, how uh, matrix visual work so you have dimension column on the top like in this case we are using year from our calendar table so it's showing uh, sales of 2017 sales and then quantity 2018 sales and quantity 2019 sales and quantity but if you want to achieve uh, to show sales together for all the years and then the quantity together for all the years, how we can do that? Because out of the box, that is not possible. Either we have to create a disconnected tables or some other ways to achieve it. But with calculation groups, we can easily achieve this. And I will show you in a in a next five minutes. It's going to be super simple and you will love it. So let's uh, let's get started again. To create a calculation groups, you need to use a external tool. Uh, of course, our favorite tool, tabular editor, um, my favorite tool at least, uh, we will use that to create the calculation group. So let's get to the tabular editor, which I already opened here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a calculation group, whatever the name you want to give, give that calculation group, uh, you can give it to. So I'm going to say create new calculation group uh, and let's call it a show metric or uh, whatever the name you want and then under it let's call it um, the name we change it to metric and in calculation items uh, again depending on number of measures the calculation items here will be based on the number of measures you want to group so in my our case we have a sales and quantity if you have a discount freight or other measures you can create those but again depending on your need but here I'm going to give you an example of two measures which we're going to use. So first we're going to create a, a, a calculation item called sales. So what this calculation item will return is simple sum of sales. We already have a measure called sales. So it, this is returning the sales measure. So that's what uh, this will do. And then we will add another calculation item. Let's call it quantity. And uh, we will I have a measure called QTY, which is a sum of quantity. So once we have two calculation items under new calculation group called show metric and the column name in that will be metric and it has two calculation items. So let's publish this and save it to our, sorry, uh, save changes to our model. And let's get to Power BI. So now, of course, it will ask me to refresh since new, um, calculation group is added so now if we see on um, on our panel here in the field so we have a new um, table uh, looks like a table but it's actually calculation group called show metric so what I'm going to do is and it has the metric as the name which we gave so how we're going to use this and how we're going to improve this so what we're going to I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the year keep the year column here and I'm going to bring the metric column from my new calculation group above year column which is a, a metric uh, and then now what we have is a two measures and a sales and quantity we don't need two measures we only need one of the measure because calculation group or the calculation item in the calculation group will return the respective value so now we see quantity and sales and if i drill down to the next level that will be year so now what we have here is we have a quantity 
by year 2017 18 19 20 21 and then we have a sales by year which is now the sales is combined together and quantity is combined together but one small change here we need to make if you pay attention the sales is showing in dollars and the quantity is also also showing in the dollars and the reason behind that is because we are using the sales measure on the values so it is taking the format string of the measure which we used on the values if i use the quantity measure here uh, just to uh, showcase that and remove the sales one and sorry if I put the quantity one and remove the sales one now the format is without the dollar sign because it is taking the format from the measure we used in the value section to to uh, to get a dollar for format for our sales and the quantity with our dollars what we need to do is we need to go back to the calculation group and change the format string for the each calculation item so uh, i did many videos on that as well i will post the link on uh, calculation groups in my uh, description of this video but uh, quickly here what we need to do is go back to our calculation group in tabular writer in the sales what we want to do is the format string we can change it to dollar and make sure you Put the former string in the quotes uh, this is a this is a text com so what we're doing is for uh, dollars what we're saying is a uh, dollar sign then comma zero zero so two decimal places for the quantity uh, what we want is a we don't want the des, uh, dollar sign so we just want and no decimal place so it's a this is the former string I'm using uh, and if I want to change uh, the sales show first and the quantity after that what i need to do is i need to change the uh, sort order in 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 here as well right now quantity showing before sales but if i really want to do that and i can uh, uh, take the sales or quantity and move it um, uh, on top of each other so as you will see the ordinal has been ch changed now this is sales is zero and the quantity is is probably one so now we have the former string we have the orders what we want it to be and let's apply these changes and save into our model so let's get back to our model so now here uh, okay refresh now so what you see is now we are seeing the sales first and then we have the dollar sign next to the sales and the quantity is without the dollar sign because regardless of what measure we use in the values again if i use the sales measure that is immaterial at this point of time because the calculation group is returning uh, the value we want to see if I use the sales here and uh, remove quantity so what we have is sales is showing in dollars and the quantity is showing in the uh, in the numbers the format what we want um, again this is a very very small uh, a development or a small change in model we need to do is take advantage of calculation groups and calculation items and then we can reformat and uh, uh, get the data the way we want to see in the matrix visual which is otherwise out of the box it is not possible let me know what you guys think about this video uh, do subscribe my channel until next video have a great day thanks for watching bye for now thank you